Hello everybody, it's your boy Nico here and today I will be talking about Lumas. So I'm gonna be talking about how to get a Luma, um, about Luma stats and everything there is on like how to catch a Luma in this certain patch in early access. Like I'm just gonna be talking about all known facts about Luma catching in this video so I hope you guys just sit back and enjoy all right the the first thing we're gonna be talking about is what Lumas actually are guys so um, the Lumas are basically shiny sparkly crystal -y versions of your regular temp which means that they're look they're, they look pretty unusual and are super strong so yeah they're pretty worth the, the catch but they're insanely hard to find actually so um, in order to find one you will need to get extremely lucky because there is one out of 6,000 chances of actually encountering one so that is pretty freaking rare you're gonna admit right so in order to get one you definitely need to get pretty lucky but if you actually manage to get one it's going to be amazing because that that guy is gonna have three perfect stats at least so every single luma catch is going to have three top stats at minimum so it, it's gonna make them super pretty super awesome and super strong in battle as well so it's actually pretty pretty worth it to get one not gonna lie so that that's like really really um good thing so it's definitely worth the catch aluma right okay now we're gonna be talking about breeding lumas and stuff like that okay when it comes to breeding lumas you need to understand a couple of things so the first thing is that regular breeding process between two regular thames does not raise your chances of getting a luma so if you breed to normal thames the odds of you getting a luma is still are still gonna be one in six thousand and it's not going to help you at all but if you have one luma and breed that luma with one regular tem your odds will go from 6k to 600 so like you're, you're gonna have one in 600 chances of actually getting a luma that way and if you um breed two lumas you will have one in 60 odds of actually cap um breeding a luma so that is pretty good not gonna lie that is actually pretty decent so it kind of pays off i think but still the catching luma process is hard as it is let alone catching two of the same species bro it's gonna kill you so um but like ev everyone everyone has their own theories man so if you if you want it go ahead okay so now that we cleared that part out, that we made that super clear, we're gonna go to the next part. When it comes to raising your odds of catching a Luma, or not catching but encountering a Luma, there's nothing in the game yet that will help you do that. So in order to actually get a spawn, you need to get lucky. But there's a couple of things that could help you in, in that in that whole process but like kind of indirectly right so the first thing that that you want to get before um before going into this whole thing is a decoy decoy is a gear that basically lets you escape from every battle and not get held captive by a tem and having to fight it or having to wait for one more turn to escape and or stuff like that I mean, in my experience, it works 100% of the time. Like, every single time I, I have a decoy on, on one of my temps that are, like, in the battle, I always escaped. So, in my opinion, in my experience, that is, it works 100% of the time. And that is actually pretty useful because it's really time-saving thing. Like, it saves you so much time that you can just ex escape from any battle you don't want to have and just go and grind more and more temps. And, yeah. So... I'm definitely 
super positive that you need to get one before you go on this hunt because it will save you so much time. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is a four leaf clover. So I don't actually have that item personally, but um, it's kind of useful because it raises your odds of actually catching a tem when you throw a tem card at it. So it's good. So basically it powers up your tem cards a little bit and makes stuff easier to catch, which is also pretty useful, but you don't have to run it if you don't want to. It's fine, but it's definitely a plus if you have one. The third thing that you want to have in your team is a Tem that can put others to sleep. I'm not honestly not sure how many Tems have that ability. I know that, that my mental starter has one and I'm honestly not sure how many other Tems can do that. But yeah, um, if you have Tentel or something like that, definitely put the, the Luma to sleep once you catch it, once you encounter it and it will definitely help you so much in the whole catching process right so yeah that is also pretty um pretty pretty important to know i think so i hope you guys like got that and we can actually just go to the next part of this video the thing that's also very very important well at least in my experience is the location at where you're actually looking for the luma so from the video that you're seeing right now, I am catching a Bun Bun Luma and um, a Shwain, of course, because I would want to have a Luma Shwain. And I'm catching those guys in the place where only three Thames spawn in the grass, basically. So I either have a chance of getting a Bun Bun or a Shwain or a Bababa, right? So, like, I limited my chances of encountering a random Thames to like three Thames only. Which is good because the more Thames you have, the less encounters you're gonna have of, of a Thames that you actually wanna get a Luma off, you know? So you wanna limit the. You wanna catch those Luma, the Luma. You wanna look for it at the area where there's like the less species as possible for you because that will make you get more spawns of the luma that you actually want to get or of the tem that you actually want to get and it will basically get you one step closer to actually getting a luma every single fight you know so it's pretty good to pick a good location for a luma hunt because it really really um means a lot it may be the most important thing out of all uh well in my experience at least so it's pretty good to pick a decent location for 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 that. All right, guys. Um, I think that's gonna be it, honestly, because I think I've covered everything in the fastest possible way. I've covered every important aspect of this. So, essentially, there's no way to increase your chances of getting a Luma, in like theory, you know, but. There's still ways to help yourself get one. So I hope you learned what those ways are from this. I hope you actually found this video useful because it's like it's a subject that's not that easy to to explain because lumas are something that's pretty insanely hard to get. And I try to do it in the fastest possible way. And I hope it worked. So I'm sorry if I missed something, but I think all the crucial details are, are here. And um, that is pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out check out my other videos out because I'm uploading Temtem videos every single day, and there's some really good tutorials for you guys if you if you haven't seen them already. So yeah, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel, maybe comment on this video, and that is pretty much it. You can also join my Discord, by the way, because. Um, as soon as the, the clubs come out, we're gonna be making a club together, like everyone in the community. So you might be down for that as well. And that is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Nico loves you, wishes you the wonderful rest of your day. And I will be seeing you in the next video. So thank you so much once again. Peace out and bye bye.